Hello and welcome back. Now that we have completed covering what I would consider the core three services of AWS in S3, EC2, and RDS slash DynamoDB in the way of databases, now we're going to move on to some of the other services provided by AWS, which I feel are very important and are extremely useful while using, monitoring, and maintaining your AWS account and any architecture or software that you decide to deploy in it. So first, we're going to take a look at SNS. So let's dive on in. So this is AWS Essentials Section 7 covering simple notification service, more commonly referred to as SNS. We are going to cover an introduction to SNS, cover SNS conceptual overview, how to use SNS, including how to create a topic, add subscriptions, and send messages. So let's get started with Lesson 1, SNS Basics, where we're going to cover SNS definitions, a conceptual overview, SNS workflow and components, and cover a pricing and cost overview. So first, let's start with what is SNS? The essentials definition is an AWS service that allows you to automate the sending of email or text message notifications based on events that happen in your AWS account. For the AWS definition, Simple Notification Service is a web service that coordinates and manages the delivery or sending of messages to subscribing endpoints or clients. In Amazon SNS, there are two types of clients, publishers and subscribers, also referred to as producers and consumers. Publishers communicate asynchronously with subscribers by producing and sending a message to a topic, which is a logical access point and communication channel. Subscribers, i.e. web servers, email addresses, Amazon SNS queues, AWS Lambda functions, consume or receive the message or notification over one of the supported protocols, i.e. Amazon SQS, HTTPS, email, SMS, or Lambda when they are subscribed to the topic. So, in a nutshell, Simple Notification Service is a notification service. And specifically for the essentials part, we're just gonna focus on sending email and text messages based on events that happen within your AWS account. So let's take a look at some SNS uh, usage examples or workflow. So let's say, for example, we have an EC2 instance. and Right now, that EC2 instance is working just fine, which means that there's no need for action. But what happens all of a sudden if the EC2 instant crashes? Well, if there's nothing in place to notify the system administrator, then the system administrator would never know. And this is where SNS comes into play in conjunction with the service that we're going to talk about in the next section, which is CloudWatch. But setting things up, what happens is, is that when an EC2 instance crashes, you can set up CloudWatch so it is constantly monitoring your instances. When it detects that an instance has crashed, it can trigger an alarm. That alarm can then trigger a notification in simple in SNS, and then SNS sends a message to the system administrator. The system administrator then gets alerted, can then go in and fix the server, and then everything will again be well. So this is basically the workflow and how SNS, which we're talking about now, and CloudWatch, which we're gonna talk about in the next section, work together in order to monitor the resources inside your AWS account and send you notifications based on thresholds, metrics, or things that you set up to be triggers for the alarms and notifications. Taking a look at basic SNS components, there are three things that I want you to concentrate on here. First, we have topics, and this is how we label and group different endpoints that you send messages to. The next are subscriptions, and these are the actual endpoints that a topic sends the messages to, i.e. the email address or phone number of our system admin. And then publishers, publishers are the human Right? It would be me or the CloudWatch alarm or whatever event that gives SNS the message that needs to be sent. So generally what we do is we create a topic and the topic can be EC2 failures. 
Then for subscriptions, that would be whoever we want to send the message to, being the actual endpoint itself, being the email address of the system admin or the phone number. Then the publisher will be the message that gets sent. So it could be an automated publisher or it could be actually me sitting at a computer typing the message and hitting send to the topic. But whether it's a CloudWatch alarm or a human that types in a message, we send that message to the topic and then the topic then sends it to the endpoints. So let's take a quick look at pricing. Free tier use is available for SNS and you are charged for using SNS by publishes, meaning the number of SNS requests, i.e. the message that needs to be sent. Notification delivery, so the number of subscribers the message is sent to and the data transfer in and out of SNS. And as always, before doing anything major with any AWS service, you should always review the detailed pricing information on Amazon's website. So again, to review, simple notification service is just that. It is a simple notification service. And to use it, at least at its base level, is very easy to set up. And we are going to cover that in the next lesson. So with that, I will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.